Protecting Florida's water resources is at the heart of the state's system of water management. The Minimum Flows and Levels, or MFLs, program is among the many tools used by the St. John's River Water Management District to protect water resources. Florida law requires the state's water management districts to set MFLs for priority water bodies. These MFLs define the limits at which further water withdrawals would be significantly harmful to the water resources or ecology of an area. Establishing MFLs is often very challenging work, but it's also very rewarding work. It's an important part of the district's core mission of water supply and natural systems protection. The district has set nearly 130 MFLs for priority lakes, rivers, wetlands, and springs since the program began in the mid-1980s. So how are the MFLs determined? For each priority water body, the district collects and analyzes large amounts of information, including historical water levels or flow rates, water quality data, and wetland vegetation data. Complex hydraulic, hydrologic, and groundwater modeling is also conducted as part of the MFL's determination and assessment process. These values include the habitat needed for the many native plant and animal species within our district, as well as the many human uses of water, such as navigation, recreation, and for scenic values. District scientists may have to determine, for example, the volume of water a public utility can draw from a lake without causing environmental harm for that lake, or the amount of groundwater that can be pumped without affecting a nearby springs flow. Field-based environmental assessment and scientific literature are at the basis for each MFL determination. The MFL's program is as fluid as the water it protects. With district scientists dedicated to the in-depth work to set MFLs and revisit them regularly to ensure Florida's water resources remain robust now and in the future.